There are reports that we're in the early stages of planning for that trillion dollar infrastructure project. The planning has begun. Come on in, please. Mark Aish, he's the author of Saving America, and he's the CEO of Transpro. I believe that's an infrastructure company. All right, Mark, welcome back. I've got two points I want to make. You say that this, an infrastructure plan that's successful must stop giving money to congressmen to spend in their districts on pet projects. Sounds like a great idea, but you'll never stop it, will you? Well, I think there, the way we're going to really see President Trump succeed in this disruption approach that he's taking to the way we distribute dollars and make sure we spend money so that it actually provides value is remind people that pet projects are like pet rocks. You know, you buy one at the grocery store because your kid's screaming and yelling for it, but you get it home and you say, what on earth did I spend money on this stupid rock for? <laughs> yeah, well, and, 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 I got and, and, it, but and, you know, and, and, look, we've, we've said this time and time and time again. How will the president stop this kind of thing from happening? How will he do it? What I th what I think we're going to see President Trump do different than others is he's actually going to tweet out nicknames of members of Congress and go hold news conferences in their districts and say, look, we're not going to let, you know, Bridge Billy spend a billion dollars on, you know, some project that's not going to deliver value for the American people. Infrastructure spending makes sense, Stuart, as long as it, number one, makes the American people safe and two, creates jobs. And we've got members of Congress that for years have spent billions of dollars on infrastructure projects that are nothing more than pet rocks for the American people. That is true. If that comes to an end, we'll all be happy. Next one. You say these infrastructure projects should get private funding. I don't know how you're going to do that. If you build a road, private enterprise builds a road, the only way to get any money out of it is to put a toll on it, surely. Yeah, and yeah, I think you see that happening. So when the president is in Detroit today, he can do a quick stopover, and there's actually a bridge that connects Detroit over to Canada. Guess what? It's privately managed. People pay a toll to get across it. You know, the government is quick to step in. We're just talking about cars, and they want to fine people if they don't hit uh, standards for, uh, for mileage. The reality is we have so many bridges and so many tunnels that don't meet government standards, and we just stand by and let people cross those bridges every day. If you privatize those bridges, hold them to a standard, charge people a user fee for that, like we just saw with the toll road in Indiana, now you've got government dollars that are actually working. Well, I, I take your point, Mark, but you know, you'd be demagogued to death if the bridge that you cross every day suddenly has a toll on it and you're paying money to some corporation. But it's a good idea. 